Uh, good morning. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Lauren Keim. I'm a professor of real estate at the uh, world-renowned Goodman Center for Real Estate Studies at Leah University, and I'm also the president of Century 21 Keim, serving uh, Eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I want to thank everybody for being part of this awesome educational program today, and I'd like to introduce you to our guest, Randy Workman. Uh, I've known for a long time. He holds the title of Senior Director of Business Momentum at Century 21 International, but really setting the title aside, Randy is the guy that's developing the, the huge expansion going on with the Century 21 commercial brand. And it's really an honor to have him on with us today. Randy, uh, I know you're gonna go through some slides with us. I understand Century 21's footprint is the largest in the world with uh, around 11,500 offices in 83 countries. But the real brand success story that we're watching is the incredible growth of Century 21 commercial, the uh, commercial investment network, which has been attracting uh, CCIMs and SIORs and other real seasoned commercial brokers and agents to uh, the brand. And it's uh, very exciting to watch. So I'll let you discuss what, uh, what you'll talk about today. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks, Lauren. And yeah, I've known Lauren for such a long time. Uh, seems like we go back way back, but it's been probably seven or eight years now, Lauren. And I appreciate your support uh, with the brand too. We, you do a lot of uh, training for us. So thank you for that. So guys, what Lauren said is, um, we have always had commercial real estate at Century 21. We're almost 50 years old as a franchise. Um, probably the most iconic brand in residential real estate out there, most recognized anyway. Um, and, you know, we've always had that commercial sale, but in 2009, 10, actually coming out of that, that bad distressed property era where almost 11 million homes were underwater, um, our current CEO at that time, Rick Davidson, who's a commercial guy, by the way, he was uh, president of CBC, then became president and CEO of Century 21. He said, I wanna diversify and start branching out and giving more opportunities to our franchise members. And one of those opportunities for ancillary revenue was let's create resources that can, you know, a, a broker and agent can really sink their teeth into for commercial. So we came up with the commercial investment network designation. So all offices within our system have the ability to have that designation. There's some qualifications as far as closed transactions. But once they do that, then they um, have the ability to access all the resources, tools, programs, um, discounts, um, templates, uh, logos, all the fun things that I'm gonna show you today. And I've got a lot of information to show you. And so as we go through, if you do have questions, please type them in the chat box. Lauren's gonna help me monitor that. Um, and let's just jump right in. And before we start, let me just start with an About Us video uh, that's on our website. Take a listen. the About Us video is local real estate, global reach. And that really is what we are as a brand. So that video was actually made last May when we kind of did a relaunch of our website. And that, that About Us video is now there and housed there. Um, but since that time, we've grown uh, by 70 offices just in the last year. We started with 115 offices in 2011 when we started that commercial investment network, what we call it the CIN um, membership. And that's when we said, okay, we're going to launch all these resources. Well, you can see now we've grown and morphed into something that's pretty unique. We're in the, the MSA markets, we're in secondary markets, tertiary markets, a lot of markets that aren't covered by some of those big competitors. Um, and that's a big draw 
for investors when they're looking for a small uh, investment property, it might be a warehouse or whatever in a neighboring state where uh, like Kansas or, or Nebraska. So the unique thing is this is actually a website. It's not just an awesome map to show what our, our footprint, but it's also a working map where all of our system members can actually reach out and contact a broker at a particular office and start talking about a potential deal to see if they can work together. So it's a really good collaborative map for us to use and leverage in our business and day-to-day -day business. And then we do have an extended global referral network. Um, and this is something that we actually kind of hold pride in. We have a global website as well, where all commercial properties are found around the world. And these actually 84 countries, we just had the 84th country come on last week. We have 135,000 total agents and about 12,000 offices. So this is outdated. So we just continue to grow, which is the good news story. But here's the cool thing is we as a brand and as a system, we have a new referral platform for the global referral platform that is. And all members are in this global referral platform. Right now, out of those 84 countries, we have ramped up almost 50 countries and the goal is by the end of the year to get the rest of them in there. It's cool because you can actually reach out across the globe, identify an area, you can identify the languages spoken, areas of expertise like commercial, uh, or might even be a relocation, whatever the case may be. So it's a real easy way to reach out outside of the United States to those, or then they can also reach out from international inside the United States when there's an investment property there too. So something unique to our brand. So last year, um, we actually revised our website because we went, we went through a rebranding, um, but we also wanted to add some extra uh, benefits to the website that we didn't have before. Now we've always had uh, pretty robust demographic heat maps and data there so that when you're looking at a property, investors can see what the average meeting age is, uh, you know, how we're getting to work, all the fun things you need to know about a particular property when you're looking at that area. Um, something unique that we added though was a side-by-side -side property comparison feature. Cool because it will keep track of all the properties they're looking at on the website. And then when they decide, hey, I wanna compare these, they can go up to four properties. Um, it's nice because that, that's, a, that's good for making an investment strategy. And we also think that's part of the reason why we've seen an uptick on our web traffic, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now I did mention we do have a global footprint. So c21global.com is um, where all, all countries are represented. Um, and the United States is no stranger to investments. And last year we had almost $50 billion just in commercial real estate alone uh, purchased from outside investors in the United States. And as you guys may or may not know, being international, that's a tough ticket when you're trying to get uh, leverage on a property. So a lot of that is cash. That's really cool. Cash is king, obviously. But there's 18 different languages uh, that convert over to uh, from English to that language, 36 different currency conversion tools. And the goal there, obviously, is to make it easy for anyone in the world to find a property anywhere in the world and have it convert over into their currency and language. So this is something we have not launched yet. And this is something we're excited about. Um, it's gonna be on our website, but it's also going to be available to all of our commercial specialists. That's what we call our CIN members, uh, brokers and agents that are uh, selling commercial real estate. Um, Reese should be no stranger to you commercial pros out there. It's a great analytics company owned by Moody's, purchased by Moody's last year. Um, they're great with market trends and forecasting insights. They take that historical data and compile it and really have some really good insights when someone's looking at properties or maybe forecasting a, I'm gonna purchase a property next month, what's going on with the square foot, uh, what's the availability ratio, that kind of thing. And so when they click on the map, it'll pull up MSAs like you see here. And this is just examples because it really has not launched yet, but they can compare areas um, to other areas to see what the differences are um, in those trends. Now, you can see there's not a lot of information there and that's by design. We are trying to drive them to contact a Century 21 commercial uh, specialist. So when they see this, it's like, oh, this is cool information. Um, I want to learn more. They'll reach out and they'll contact one of our commercial specialists. And right now launching, we're hoping about two weeks. It was going to launch in July but because of COVID. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a, a lag time there. But all of our commercial specialists, and they must be activated in that uh, commercial investment network office, Otherwise they can't get access to this, but it's at no charge to them. They'll have full analytics for Reese. 
So they can do their own BPOs. They can actually have more uh, data for that, that investor or, or person that's on the website uh, should they contact them. So we're thinking this is also going to help us drive traffic moving forward as well. And here's the cool thing that I love. So we've got a really cool digital marketing team. They're very savvy. They know what they're doing. Um, and in our web traffic year over year, we've been trending third and fourth against all commercial brands in the country. Um, you see the ones that are above us. Those are the, the pure CRE companies. Those are more probably B2B, business to business, where um, they're looking at websites on the East Coast or the West Coast, trying to find some, an investment for a, a client. Ours is more consumer driven, which is a good thing for us because we do get a lot of leads out of that. And if you look to the far right there, you'll see, you know, desktop versus mobile. We're almost 50-50 desktop versus mobile because this new uh, website is now mobile responsive. So that's the really good news story. Um, you can see the increase in traffic and visits and page views are, are off the chart. Um, we hope when we launch this REIS, that will leave, even increase it even more. Um, last year, we distributed over 32,000 leads to our CIN offices across the United States from the website. So um, that's really a good news story for us moving forward. Randy, would you mind going back to that slide for just a second? I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, th those are amazing statistics and something I want to point out there, you know, we're actually ahead of uh, full commercial uh, brokerages that are that are worldwide like Cushman Wakefield is actually below us on this chart. We're uh, uh, almost double Remax commercial, which is kind of interesting, way ahead of Sperry Van Ness. Uh, NAI Global is at 0.59 percent. Central Home Commercial is at over eight and a half percent. I mean, it's enormous. And if you look at uh, KW Commercial, it's a tiny fraction of what Central 21's commercial website is bringing in, which is uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and um, you know, you brought up KW, and I don't know if I got any KW Commercial guys on here. I love you guys. I, I talk to KW Commercial people all the time. Um, you know, you pay for a lot of the resources, but they don't really give you a ton of return. And I'm not trying to slam it, but they don't really have a mobile responsive website. Uh, they don't really put a lot of stock into digital marketing. We do. That drives leads. So um, we're going to continue to grow. I, you know, we're always going to try to stay up there towards the top. It just makes a lot of sense for the brand. So great, great input there, Lauren. So obviously marketing property is a lot different in commercial real estate. All of you guys know um, when we have a property listing, we put it into our database. It then goes out to commercial.century21.com, our commercial domestic site also goes out to that C21 global site. And then from there, uh, we also distribute automatic feeds to the syndicated listing partners. Um, this is a growing list. Uh, we started growing this list last June um, and no stranger to all, all, all you commercial pros, you're probably looking at this going, where's LoopNet CoStar? We had a great partnership with them since uh, about 2012. And uh, they changed the game when they sued Accelligent Commercial Search and they decided they wanted to charge six figures um, just to have our listings on their site where if you look at all these companies, um, these are affinity partners and they give us great discounts and they understand we're giving them our API feed. That's a win. So in, in return, they're giving us discounts. So we locked arms with Cobalt Banker Commercial. Uh, as of last June, we said we're not going to be held hostage and take the noose out around our neck. And uh, they're now coming back to the to the, um, the table, if you will, they want our sold listings. Um, we're not gonna give them our sold listings. So as a brand, I guess my message here as a brand, we try to protect you and represent you well, um, but they want the sold listings. And so we're now we're in negotiation of give us the free API feed. Um, and that's where we are with that conversation. The good news story is one of our entities, land.com has now come back to the table. So standing ground, uh, our ground as a, uh, as, as basically a Century 21 firm for you, this is what our system members respect of us is, you know, give us your best shot and re represent us well. And I think we have, so that, that will come to fruition, um, but we had to do a pause on CoStar um, in that regard. So actually, Randy, you know, uh, we actually pay for LoopNet and CoStar and it's a crazy amount of money. So all of our stuff is on there. Yeah. But uh, it is a lot of money. Some of the things that we're finding that are working very, very effectively lately are Crexy. Uh, we still get uh, leads out of uh, Real Next. We get leads out of CIMLS. And uh, Land Broker Co-op is an interesting marketing platform now because one of the ideas behind it was 
getting brokerages together to actually own their own feed. And when you look at that, it says land. It is not just land. It is a commercial site. So you want to make sure that you're supporting those organizations that hopefully will support us in the future. And Crexi, as an example, is a great tool because it allows us to um, track anyone who opens one of our properties, who asks for information, um, and provides that information back to us if, we're, if you're a pro member, which uh, we are. So anything to add on any of these other sites? Say that again, I'm sorry, Lauren. Uh, anything to add on any of these other sites? I know that uh, uh, you're really pushing technology right now, making sure to hit the broadest market humanly possible. Yeah, no, uh, what you said about both Crexie and Land Broker, real quick, Land Broker, um, we were part of the, the, the very start of that. Um, it was a year, well, I guess a year and a half ago, almost three, two years ago in January, we sat down with brands like KW Commercial, Cobalt Banker, Open Fences, and we said, we don't want our pictures watermarked. We want to own the information. What do we do? That's when this was formed. So we were on the front end of that. In fact, I was one of the first members to join that. They're now looking at building that out in the commercial space, and that will take some time. So that's unique there because it is a nonprofit org where it represents you and it's transparent. Crexy, what you said, Lauren, is absolutely probably the strongest platform we see right now. Uh, whether you have one or a thousand listings, it's the same price. We get discounts of uh, 35%. It's a flat rate of 228 a month. So that's a great platform. Um, Crexy Brevitas, they are actually the MLS for RPR. I don't know if you know that. Um, and yes, it's a little bit of crossover to have RPR launching here uh, soon, but um, we are not stopping here. We're going to add as many relevant uh, organizations that, uh, that market sometimes are specialized, like Pinpoint is specialized in, in retail. Um, you know, so we want to make sure we cover all the bases. Spaceless is more office, uh, industrial. They also are a Canadian company breaking into the U.S. market. So we'll do nothing but just grow this list from here to help market all of our listings at uh, Century 21 Commercial. Um, so this is unique in the sense that we have something called uh, Workplace. And your Workplace is basically run by Facebook. It looks just like Facebook. Um, this is where you can collaborate with, um, oops, let me go back one. This is where you can collaborate with anyone in that group. The, the CIN official page has about 2,500 brokers in there. And I took this screenshot because it's unique to, they were side by side, where one member is saying, hey, um, I've got a client need of one to $400 million. That's the portfolio. Contact me. Um, this is what I'm looking for. And then you've got one right below that. And Marguerite is one of our powerhouses in North Carolina, um, a new listing. And so this is a great place to collaborate listings, off-market properties, client portfolios, events that we do. We stream live events like this one here where it can be uh, streamed live, but then recorded for later. So it's a really great collaborative platform we have uh, in Workplace. Something we're launching this month, it's going to be the fourth Wednesday each month, is a brand specific monthly deal making event. We, we looked at this and said, hey, you know, we've got to have other ways of, of creating an off market property or a, a broader reach of just regular properties for sale. It doesn't need to be an off market property. So our parameters are a million and a half uh, dollar uh, price tag and over. Um, we're going to start it by having um, a templates and they use the same templates to be consistent. And we're going to do this for three months. And then in January, the hope is to launch this for client investors as well. So you can invite your client to come in, especially if there's an off market property and you say, hey, we're just going to present this to the brand. Um, come on if there's any questions and let's let's present this together. So this is meant to be collaborative. It's meant to spur deals. It's meant to network, but it's also meant for future uh, clients to come on and, and do the same and, and see what we're doing as a brand to market their properties amongst ourselves, not just on our uh, marketplaces. Um, something unique to the brand too that we offer is a website builder uh, at no cost, has all the commercial pictures and, and the things that are in there, all commercial. It emulates our domestic site. So you'll pull in a lot of other properties besides your own listing properties. Um, and then maybe it's a competitor property, but it has you as a reference uh, when someone's interested in that property. So that's a great uh, marketing tool as well. And something very unique we do as a brand, we have a YouTube channel with YouTube. Um, every member has their own YouTube channel. They just need to activate it. Once they activate that, the way it works is um, when you put a listing into our database, that listing, as long as it has six or more photos, 
automatically, it's like flipping a switch, automatically creates a YouTube video. And yes, it's just a collage of pictures, but zoom in and zoom out with little music. But the, uh, the voiceover for the narration is amazing. You would never know it's automatic. It's impressive to clients. What this is really meant for though, guys, is that it's a search engine optimization tool, but it's also a cool marketing tool to, to take that little URL and put it in an e-marketing flyer on your website. Uh, impressive to our clients as well to know that we're, we're doing that. They don't know it's an automatic thing and we don't tell them. So I won't spend too much on this, but I do want you guys to know what we are doing from the brand side um, for print and digital marketing. Um, in 2012, we started taking ads out in industry publications. Uh, they've changed every year. Uh, we've, we've taken some, a few out because we're focusing more on digital. Right now, our current marketing is any space, any place. If you saw that in our opening about us video, uh, our goal is to take out a one page ad in these magazines, get it up front as, as close to the front page as possible um, to promote that we are also a commercial brand. So we are making some good uh, traction and headway with that and we'll continue to do that. Um, and then and this is where we really want our focus. Now we put a pause on this in, in uh, March, uh, actually as a, as a corporate headquarters, we gave back a few percentage points of um, franchise fees to our, our franchisees to help them out through the end of June. So we put a pause in all this, but the whole goal here is raising awareness for the brand, saying, hey, we're not just a residential brand. Then also we have some where we target specific websites where we think the small cap investment uh, buyer is gonna be, and those pop-up ads will come up there. Um, you know, They don't get a lot of love from the big companies. Those big companies don't focus on small cap real estate. We know that. Um, and so we are on those sites and that's where they, they uh, can actually contact an agent. So we do provide customizable collateral um, at, in the commercial investment network space. They must be activated as a commercial specialist and that's up to each broker. Um, we have what you could call a listing presentation. I just call it a real estate service plan. It's 30 pages, it, it's done in PowerPoint. It's an automatic where you say, hey, I want to find this listing presentation. It'll download it. It'll uh, populate all of your information in there automatically. Um, and then you can customize it from there. So you can take that 30 pages and make it your own and create five, 10 pages, whatever makes sense for you. And then we also do some offering memorandum flyers, two page flyers. The goal here is ease of use. Um, the way it works is I can open up brand studio, which that's what we call it. And I can say, hey, I want to look for commercial marketing flyers. It'll pull up the flyer. I can choose which one I want. I want a for sale flyer. I want to create one for 1234 Main Street, my listing. It'll pull my information over, all that information over. Um, the only thing left to do really is choose the pictures you want. The goal, consistency, and create something really quick. So in a couple of minutes, you can have some flyers. And this is unique to Century 21, well, not really Century 21. We do drip campaigns, that's not, not unique to anyone, but at Century 21 Commercial, our drip campaigns can go beyond the birthdays and the holidays and things like that. You can download your sphere of influence or your contact list, and you can uh, say, I want this newsletter to go out every month to my contact list. Um, we have a professional organization that writes these newsletters. It's relevant on today's Today's business, this was from May when everything was pretty much kind of closed up and we were just coming out of COVID. Um, a really cool practice our guys use is they'll take this newsletter, which is the body of the email, so there's no attachment, so it's not going to be flagged for spam, hopefully. And they actually customize the newsletter, the first line, thanking them for reading this newsletter and then saying, please see my attached uh, OM flyers on my new listings. I have guys telling me that they actually look, their clients look forward to the new listings, not so much the newsletter, just they know when they see the newsletter that they're gonna see new listings. So great way to stay in touch on a monthly basis with that sphere of influence. And then of course we do have lots of different uh, card styles, uh, business card styles, postcards, whether you're announcing a new property, maybe a grand opening of, of a new branch or an, an agent. We have over 350 signs. If you decide to use our business partners, they're pretty affordable. Uh, we go from small all the way up to four foot by eight foot. And if you need bigger than that, then that means you're, you're a successful business and you got a big building, but um, we, we do cover you on that too. So trade shows, why am I gonna talk about trade shows? Um, back in 2012, we felt like, you know, make a splash. Let's make sure that the commercial bit, you know, real estate practitioners 
investors, everyone knows we're also a commercial brand. So the very first show we ever went to was the International Council of Shopping Centers uh, international event in May in Las Vegas. Big show, uh, we made a big splash. At that time, I think we sponsored the US soccer team. We had some of the soccer girls there to, to you know, bring in some traffic. Um, we've tried to earn our wings by doing that. But we've been from the North Hall to the South Hall, kind of in the back corner. Last year, we earned our wings and now we are in a space with our sister company, Cobalt Banker Commercial. It's a 50 foot by 90 foot space. Um, we are in that section there that you see, and we actually uh, put out to all of the retailers that we wanted to invite them to for a 10 minute segment to come to our booth. We would stream live to all of our offices where they're growing their footprint, all their information, and people were signing up in droves. Nobody's doing this at this show. We thought this was a unique, unique way to, uh, to garner some attention from those walking by as well as get the exposure for the retailers as well. But the reason I mentioned trade shows, every time we go to a trade show, we try to find something um, for those who attend. And we started doing a report from the chain store guide. This is obviously just a screenshot of this report. This report represents over 9,500 retailers and tenant organizations from hotels, motels, to the restaurants, to the quick service restaurants, to the Starbucks of the world, to the, those those uh, the big boys, the 7-Elevens and, and McDonald's and things like and CVS pharmacies, they're all in here. And what we did was we separated each tab so that we could say, okay, what if someone took in a 2000 square foot listing? What if they took in a 10,000 square foot listing? And we broke it down by the footprint of each one of these retailers and said, all right, here's all the information you're gonna need. So if you take in, in this case, a 6,000 square foot listing, you can go in and find out proactively who to go after and see if um, you know, they're willing to grow uh, in your market. And you'll be able to see actually if they are growing in your market. They have the names, the titles, their contact email, their phone numbers. Great proactive tool for our system members to go after these retail tenant companies uh, in their market. And then we also offer an 85% discount to membership. We encourage our offices to have at least one membership per office. Um, why? Because first of all, it's affordable, but it gives you 50% off any show in your state. Um, ICSC has deal-making shows in every state in the country, not just this big show. And that gives you discounts there. And yes, you get the monthly magazines, but here's the more important part. We also want you to have the, uh, the availability to the 70,000 plus member database that's there. So you can reach out um, should you have new developments in your area that you want to uh, target them. So learning and education, and, and my friend Lauren Kimes been a big part of this, but uh, I wanna say back when I started learning education, I started in 2012 with the uh, commercial side. I've been with the brand since 2008. And we saw a really strong need for a curriculum, not just a CCIM topic of time value of money or, or a 1031 exchange topic or a prospecting topic from uh, one of our industry uh, pros. We said, we need a curriculum. We went from that 118 offices in 2011 and the, by 2014 had 450 offices and we're going, oh my gosh, we need to have something that's a good curriculum because we're building this network. We want to make, want to make sure am I going to a show that I actually have someone that's trusted if I pass off a lead. So we created this curriculum. It's no cost to our members. There's four parts to it, um, almost 42 hours of training. Um, the advanced courses are taught by C uh, certified CCIM instructors. And the, I call it the Introduction to Commercial Real Estate course is taught by Lauren Kime. You can see up there our flyers. Uh, Lauren's done a great job. Uh, right now it's it's on demand. We actually used to do it on WebEx live, right, Lauren? And that was- We did, was that was a lot of fun having hundred people on and uh, answering questions and everything else, but it was uh, I know. a lot of fun. I'll be, I'm going to be really honest with you. I didn't look forward to that because it was, there was so many people on it and there were so many questions and you were doing your thing teaching and I had to moderate and always a ton of questions, but um, 280 plus uh, manual page manual that, that Lauren provides for that um, does a great job. But once that um, attendee or student passes that introduction course, they pass a test. Um, once they pass that test, they get their certificate of completion, but then they have automatic access to the advanced modules. And you can see the advanced modules here, but rather than let me tell you a little bit more about that um, and the CSAM instruction, I'm gonna 
let you listen to a residential agent that was told you cannot sell commercial real estate because we're going to have a commercial real estate division unless you take these courses. Take and listen to what Brandon or Craig has to say, not Brandon, Craig has to say about the uh, program. Hi, my name is Craig Doman. I'm with Century 21 Sheets with the commercial division. I'm a junior broker out of Bloomington, Indiana, southern Indiana, where Indiana University is. And uh, I'm uh, pretty far along with the ACA course. Uh, looking forward to finishing that. It's been a big help uh, to me, to my business, and to our company. Uh, it's helped me learn anything from terminology and how to speak uh, the right words in the commercial world. I come from a residential background, uh, as well as just learning how to uh, calculate uh, different financial uh, opportunities, different investments, uh, and how to speak the language with uh, with my clients and it's helped me right now I have about 24 listings and it's helped me become uh, a major player in the southern Indiana market uh, quite quickly and so it's been a great help and uh, looking forward to uh, continuing and finishing that course. So unique story about Craig I met him last June when I was at their office um, and uh, he made this video and last fall and he's, he completed that uh, now he's a junior broker out of the four offices they have, he's in kind of a secondary, actually more of a tertiary market. Um, I'm told he owns the market. He averages 30, 32 listings a month, you know, selling and then taking on new listings. So he's gotten very successful, but I can tell you, this is not a CCIM course, but it is taught by CCIM instructors. And so they've tried to keep the same curriculum um, in these, this, this, these course materials. Uh, then once you pass the ACA courses, uh, you're then invited to uh, pursue your ACA designation, which is closing 10 transactions. I know that's not on the scale of CCIM, but we then encourage people to also get their CCIM. But this is a great training course. We're very big on, on continuing education here. We update these courses every year. Um, and so we just uh, stay fresh on those. Something that just barely happened, I was talking to Lauren um, just prior to us uh, starting today's session about our commercial academy. These are two of our trainers that also teach in the ACA courses. Uh, Todd and Lydia Bennett are actually certified instructors for the Institute. They travel the world teaching the 101 and 104 classes. Um, and they've also put a curriculum together for the commercial academy. It's a three-day workshop. It's always been in Madison, New Jersey. Uh, obviously this year, that was a, that was a challenge. So we had, we had it virtually um, and we actually sold out uh, we had it set for 80 people. We asked them, how comfortable are you on a Zoom format with, with people? They said, you know, we have 10 teams of eight, that's fine. Well, we sold out within a matter of a few days um, and we opened it back up and closed that at 90. So we had 90 people attend this event. Here's why we continue this event. And I'm excited to get the reports from last year's group. Now that we've gone through one year of them being graduated, we look at the transaction volume those who are attending, what they did 12 months prior to them coming. And then we track them and see what happened 12 months after to see what their increase was, if any. And what we found was their increased commissions went up almost 50%, sales volume almost 60%, and transaction close sides three and a half percent. But when you looked at the numbers, we saw that they came out of this thing with so much more confidence um, in going after the commercial real estate deals. And some of the things we can't show you today that I'm always welcome to come back later, Lauren, is show you some of the business partners we use uh, during this event. Like for instance, we give them three months of site to do business because we're great partners with the CCIM Institute. So CCIM Tech gives us that. Uh, we have three months of the Analyst Pro. Um, RPR came on. We have uh, our business partners come on like Reonomy. They offered 50 free true owner unlocks um, where you can actually see who's behind that LLC. So it's a great event. Uh, great training. Um, I'm hoping we have some live ones next year, but we're going to do two two events next year just to show you how um, how successful it was. And I just did a couple of screenshots. It was pretty fun. At the end, we always take a big graduation picture. Well, we took it by taking screenshots of all that. But this is how it's worked worked this year. It streamed live on our workplace site, so it was there. It was recorded also. If uh, someone missed anything, so nobody really missed skipped a beat when they uh, if they had to jump out a few minutes early. So great event. And then we do a lot of other corporate led training events as well, usually with our business partners from talk to the C21 pros where it's a, it's a best pack practice panel of experts to 
Uh, one we're launching, we're doing next week with Crexi. The following week, we're actually doing one with uh, NAR and RPR. The week after that, we're doing one with uh, Real Massive. So we don't stop there. About every week, we're holding uh, an event for our system members to, uh, to listen in. And then something unique to our brand, we have a global conference. We call it a global conference. Uh, we call it 121 uh, different cities. This year it was in Los Angeles. Um, we always have four or five commercial breakout sessions where we hire someone to come in and do training. And then we have a commercial experience, which is the general session. And this year we had the keynote speaker, Greg Fine. He's the CEO of the CCM Institute. He's quite a character. Uh, entertaining and also very knowledgeable. And then we also have a follow-up reception, which is always a good time to hobnob and, and network with uh, the professionals there. So kind of coming to the end here, guys, um, you know, we do have a lot of discount partners and it's not just based on they're going to offer us a discount. It's based on us vetting them. We have a commercial advisory board and actually Lauren is recently uh, uh, freed up his schedule so he can join us on that advisory board. We meet once a month to talk about whether it be, you know, cutting edge um, companies, you know, relevant companies on the market. We uh, look at syndicated listing partners. We looked at like Reonomy. Do we do a Reonomy? I know there's CoStar, there's Reonomy. Um, there's, there's a lot of database companies out there. We came up with Reonomy because Reonomy is closed market transactions. They're accurate transactions and they're not overbaked and overcooked. And I don't mean to slam CoStar, but they have, overcook their information. It's not always that accurate. So we rely on Reonomy because you can look up the taxes, you can look up the mortgages, you can look up um, when the property was sold last, you can, uh, you can see what the tax records are. You can actually go behind the LLC and find a true owner search through their unique algorithms. And they cover over 52 million properties, 3,100 uh, counties in the US. So uh, they give us a discount. The discounts on this screen represent from 15, well, actually free with Reese uh, to 15 to 85% off, depending on who it is. Crexy is 35% off. We talked about them before. We love Crexy. Uh, we've seen the biggest growth with them. I get the most comments from our system members about, thank you for signing up with Crexy. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of leads come in. Client look, you should know about them, but if you don't, they're a CRM tool for commercial real estate. Um, it's built by commercial real estate pros for commercial real estate pros, and they have a 99% retention rate. They give us a great discount, but it's also the best product out there. Uh, you've got Apto and some of those other ones that are out there. Um, Client Look is simply the best, and it, they give us a free virtual assistant to help us stay organized. And then obviously we partner with the CCIM Institute. Uh, we've got a, a training coming up here, third week of October, uh, to our system members there. I talked about Reese. Um, quantum listing hasn't quite come on yet, um, but there's some unique things that they do to market uh, properties. Um, and then the other ones we've kind of talked about, except for the Massimo group. My friend Rod Santa Massimo, we just held a, uh, an hour session last week. Um, and the Massimo group uh, does a Massimo Minute on our workplace site every month as well. Um, and we like to partner with them because they're a great commercial coaching company. Randy, can I mention so, one quick thing on Reonomy? That's, uh, yeah. and we subscribe to that. It's a really uh, fantastic premium service. But when, he, when Randy talked about LLCs, you can pull just about any property in our region, click on the property, and not only does it tell you what the tax record does, which is the LLC that owns it, it tells you who the true owner is, the real people who own that LLC, and it actually tries to search for their direct contact information, their email address, their phone number, their cell phone number, who the partners are, who their lender is, and it even gives you a ranking as to whether or not they're likely to sell based on certain uh, criteria and statistics. It's just an amazing product. It, and we subscribe to it. It's a lot of money. Uh, we get a pretty good discount through Century 21, but just an amazing, amazing product. Yeah, I, I really do. I'm a raving fan of them. I love them. I mean, you can get RPR, business partner, you can get resources on properties there as well on the commercial side. But Reonomy takes a deeper dive and there's nobody else like them in the business. So um, I thought before we ended, though, you know, we talked about some of these business partners. This list is always growing. Things are always changing in the commercial landscape as far as um, tech. And tech is really why there's not as many designations as there um, today as there was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, um, you know, there was like 60% of the people did not have, that were selling commercial real estate, did not have a designation. Today, it's over 76%. A lot of it has to do with technology. 
So we're always looking at new tech partners. Um, and something that we is unique to us is we don't charge to do anything you've seen today other than if you decide you want to sign up with a business partner. Um, and then we provide those discounts. So I thought I'd show you one partner that we're really hanging our hat on. And Lauren and I have talked about this. And I know that, Lauren, you use some systems there too. And I think that you've got uh, the Analyst Pro teed up. I want to show you something. And Lauren, I can actually send this um, a package I put together. Um, it's about 58 pages as an example of, of what the Analyst Pro can do. I did one in 15 minutes, a com full commercial package. And I'm going to show you some maybe I think it's like 10 different um, slides from that, um, that program. So the Analyst Pro is not just an offering memorandum resource tool, creating a commercial package. It's a, it was actually created for the CCIM Institute guys uh, nine years ago. Um, nine years ago, they were trying to get away from those old spreadsheets and Todd Coleman, who's a very sharp, he's one of their trainers, he's one of our trainers as well, um, created this um, CRE Tech and this Analyst Pro app. And it was meant for all of the cool investment, commercial investment calculators. Well, from there, it's morphed into what it is today. And it's not just a commercial offering memorandum. You can do location risk analysis, demographic analysis, tapestry maps, traffic counts. Um, it's all powered by Esri. So it's really great, da accurate data. Um, I know that you use Argus, uh, but Esri is actually a really great tool. So this is something that we encourage all of our system members to, to sign up for. We've subsidized it, so it's only $25 a month, and it's unheard of to, for what it does. So let me just show you uh, what I put together. So this is just some screenshots of the pages I put together. That 15 minutes of putting this package together included photos, uh, one year of... Um, the last 12 months of financials, uh, investment, uh, the original investment, what the mortgage data was. And then from there, I just clicked on radio buttons. I wanted a, a demographic analysis. Well, it already geocoded my address, so it knows where it's at. I wanted an investment analysis five year before and after tax. Um, that came from that one year of information I put in, and then I increased it, I think, two and a half percent. Um, then I just clicked on a button and said, I want a location risk. I want a flood map. I want a crime report. I want an environmental risk. Then I put my own spin and I put YC2 on commercial. So from there in the back end, I got it all done. And then I generate the report and I choose the template. I choose the colors I want and everything is automatic. So in, in Lauren's case, it would have his commercial logo up there, not just our generic one. Um, you can see the table of contents, the property info, then get into the property description. I kept it simple just for this as an example. Uh, I think I had uh, four pages of property photos, had some mapping, and then I wanted to do a little uh, lower level mapping, show a polygon map, and I drew around the property to show what that was. And you can annotate this map. It's so easy to do. You, if you have a library of logos, you can drop those logos in uh, real simple when you're annotating a map. Then you can see the location study area. We did a one, three, five mile radius, but you can also do a drive time. It's like, hey, I want anything that's 30 minutes from this property. I want a demographic information on it. Well, in this case, we did a one, three and five mile radius, and then it, it printed out that report. And then I said, I wanted a traffic count. That was a click of a button. Um, then you see the uh, after tax flow cash analysis. That's where I put in that first year of information the initial investment, the mortgage data, and I increased it two and a half percent. From there, I didn't have to do anything else. Um, it prints out really cool pie charts and graphs. That's always good for clients. They like the visuals. The new, new thing that I don't have in this report is the infographics. They have, I think it's six different uh, infographic styles. It's pretty cool on what's going on in the population. Um, and that's at no cost. That just They just added that just barely. Uh, a new enhancement they are coming out is the screenshots. Now with the pictures are gonna be stretched across the screen. Um, I clicked on optimal holding period in this report that I'm gonna to send to you, Lauren. I clicked on, hey, I wanna show a, a positive leverage analysis. In this case, in that five year period, it showed the fourth year is the best return over 12 and a half percent IRR. So, um, and then if you can also do the 10 year as well, that's our investment measure. Um, I did a flood report. It's a FEMA report. It's accessed. It's, it's public knowledge, so I can get access to it. Um, I did an environmental report, a uh, crime report. Um, so, so some of those things are necessary, especially if you're going to get a loan, and uh, like Fannie Mae loan. 
Um, so good stuff. And then at the very end, I dropped in my YC21 commercial. The cool thing I love about the Analyst Pro that our guys love at, over at Century 21 is I can put in a floor plan, a plat map, anything that's on a PDF. I just save it as a PDF. I can now upload it to my custom presentation. This one, I think, is uh, six or seven pages of Y Century 21 commercial. Um, so this is just one of the, the tools we use uh, for our system members, and we've made it really affordable for them. And, um, you know, they're just continuing to make enhancements. Great business partner. And so Randy, um, I want to point out also, like you said, 15 minutes to put in some basic information on the first year's uh, uh, income statement expenses, put in some photos and then check off what you want it to print. It actually locates all this information for you. It pulls stuff from ArcGIS. It pulls it from Esri, which powers ArcGIS. It builds this entire thing for you. And by the way, once you print this, it's not only impressive, it shows an investor as an example why it's important to buy a property at a six or an eight cap rate when it's really getting an internal rate of return of 18% because of appreciation, because you're paying down debt, and because eventually that building's going to be worth more money. It gives you a much broader look at any particular property. It's, just, it's a phenomenal product. It's just wonderful. It's a great uh, tool. Yeah. In fact, um, we always we always try to tell our, our system members, look, guys, you know, when you create a package, if you do this, I've got a great testimonial from a uh, uh, guy in West Virginia who had someone call him on a Sunday night and say, hey, I'm in town this week. Um, would you have time to meet me at Panera Bread first thing in the morning? I've got a, a Denver mattress. It's actually a furniture row property that I need to sell. Um, he said, yeah, sure, no problem. He actually got on the counter reporters, got some pictures, got all the details about the property. He whipped up a report like this. And what he did was he showed him what you're looking at this screen is a website. Every time you create a report, it creates a specific URL static website for that report. And he went through it on his iPad. And, and we're always telling him, don't hand him, <laughs> don't hand him the actual booklet or the report or whatever you're doing until they get the listing. So he went through this on the website and he gave him the listing right there site on that site. He, he canceled his other appointments. Um, and so it's a great tool to show capabilities. And, and I'll be really honest with you. That's a, a lot of what, what a lot of people don't do in commercial real estate is they'll do the two page offering memorandum or the tear sheet. I call it, they don't really get into the weeds and they don't get into this kind of stuff. We try to instruct our um, pros, look, they need to know your capabilities because even if they don't buy a property, if they don't list with you, they're going to always remember in their mind, oh, they can do a flood map. So if I have someone requesting, hey, well, you know what? I might be interested in that property, but you're kind of close to the river. Um, and so I can do a flood map. And so we try to get them to, to show that capability um, of what they can do. And the other thing that's unique is they also have a two page offering memorandum, but now you have the ability to add the infographics you see there in that, that one or a, a mapping um, of, of where the properties are at. You can customize those as well. And Lauren, I'm gonna send you, now that I remember, um, we just updated that Gabriel court that we just did here. I'm gonna send you that report because that does have a sample of infographics. So if any of you want to look at that, I think it's 60 plus pages because we did kind of an overkill commercial package, but that will allow you to see the, uh, the in infographics there as well. So we love that partner. We love all of our partners and we always are looking to uh, um, sign on with more partners and uh, we're looking forward to that Reese partnership as well. So um, Warren, I don't know if any questions came in, Lauren, but I'm, uh, I'm glad to field some questions if anybody has any right now. No, I do want to point out, though, uh, what I started with is Century 21 is attracting a lot of uh, CCIMs, a lot of SIORs, a lot of professional commercial agents that have been in the business a long time. And I think part of it is uh, the tools that are being offered now and the, uh, the, the marketing depth is just enormous, uh, trying to hit the broadest market humanly possible, where so many commercial brokers hide all of their inventory and doesn't necessarily get sold that way. Uh, but any questions anybody's got for Randy? If there's no questions, just, just monitor that. I want, to, I want to add to what you just said, Lauren. We're seeing a, in the last year and a half, I must say over two years, actually, we're seeing, um, we saw one CCM that had a Sperry Van S franchise that came over to a Century 21 company down in uh, Texas, started their commercial division. They went from 151st in uh, national sales 
uh, as a company to number 11 in a one year period. Um, the, the, the gentleman you saw, Craig Dolman from uh, Sheets in Century 21 Sheets in Indiana, who did that ACA program, um, that company's gone from hiring someone, it'll be three years ago, December, they went from 131st with one person selling commercial real estate back in 2000 and I guess it was 17, no, it was 18. And right now they're trending, they're number six. Um, and he's built it from the ground up because they've got a referral mining system there that they use with the residential agents. And now they've grown to 14 junior and senior brokers just selling commercial real estate alone. And then they get the referrals from the residential agents. So that's kind of the draw with a, a residential practice like this is a residential brokerage that has a commercial division and brings in a commercial pro to grow that division and then get those referrals from the residential agents is really, really paying off uh, big dividends for those brokerages. And so that's kind of why uh, we're growing fast. And I also am told by the Heather Kanopkas of the world that I mentioned down in Texas or the Tommy Karitzis up in Indiana, um, and I can mention a bunch more. I asked him the question, why, why did you come over here? Randy, I'm not pigeonholed into doing anything. I'm not told, hey, you're gonna be a junior broker. You're gonna oversee this building and that building and that's your job. I can do whatever I want. I can find specialists to go sell commercial real estate. I can, I can actually design my own plan and build a division that's strong. And so there's some freedom there. There's also the ability to uh, reach out across uh, other um, genres as well versus just being pigeonholed into doing one thing. So that's, that's kind of another big draw that we see uh, a trend in uh, people coming into the Century 21 system as well, Warren. Thank you very much. I, I'm uh, impressed with everything that's going on. Any questions from anybody in the, uh, that's on here today? Got to have a question, guys. I wasn't that thorough. <laughs> kind of information by a fire hose. Well, uh, Lauren, you know, you, 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 uh, my cell phone number, if uh, you have any questions uh, with any of these guys in this group, I will send you over that, uh, that one um, commercial package. If anybody wants to see that um, email Lauren, I'm going to send it to him uh, right after this meeting. And uh, you can just look at uh, kind of the capabilities um, all the way from page one to, to the last page to see uh, what the analyst pro does. Um, and even if you uh, decide not to come over to the brand and join our family, um, you know, hopefully you'll learn something about some of these other vendors today, too. I just want to throw a plug in, Randy, real quick. And thank you, Lauren, for inviting me this morning. Uh, I just completed the Commercial Academy. And let me share with you guys, if you haven't had the chance, even if it's virtual, it's an eye opener. It's so much fun. I, I couldn't imagine learning commercial real estate any other way. It's simple. The, the uh, instructors are incredible it's just what an experience the the experience i had has actually grown beyond that i'm already learning from other people in different parts of the country as a part of the networking different questions i've just shot and asked and things like you'd never imagine you know our market's you know big but small and to be able to reach out and have that connectivity has just been incredible so i just want to throw that plug in there randy thanks again for uh <laughs> that, that, that course you know casey <laughs> Casey, thank you. I, I've got two screens here. And so I didn't even see you until you started speaking. I looked over and said, that's Casey. And you were one of the most engaged in that whole process. And you think about 24 hours over a two week stretch, uh, you were always there. So thanks for your input. You, you guys did a great job in presenting your investment packages too to the money team. So uh, thanks for saying something. That's awesome. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for joining us. And Randy, thank you as always for everything. Appreciate everything you do. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Let me know how I can help. And I uh, hope you guys uh, come over to the Century 21 family. We have a lot of fun uh, and we make money at the same time. That sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, you guys.